What's up? This is Long Ashes, and with me is Nubs and Ring Gage. What's going on, everybody? That's again. And this is the Crack Network Podcast, episode number five. I thought you said it was six. Well, it was six, but I accidentally deleted five, so now this is five. Five. Five D. <laughs> October thirteenth. Gurkha. Crack Network. Yeah, that's right. I said Gurkha. Our uh, friends at Gurkha sent us some excellent samples to review. Excellent is a understatement. Yeah. yeah. And as well as samples, they also sent us some nice swag. We got a nice brown suede pouch here. Five finger pouch. Like a glove. Could be. Yeah. And a Your hands warm. Foldable cutters. Those are sweet. These are like the scissor kind. I, I'm not, you know, I don't usually use those, but still really sweet. And then of course five cigars to review. Gurkha, thank you. We will continue to thank re- you. review thank your you. cigars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Yes. And uh, they sent us a little card here. It's kind of nice. A little business card saying thank you for your support. I know that they sent this to other bloggers too because there's a, a blogger online that goes by the name of Cigar Nut. He posted a picture like a couple days ago with, with this stuff. So he got some too. So thank you, Gurkha. Always, always great. Mm-hmm. Uh, booth at Cigar Fest. Nice, oh, yeah. nice swag. They throw out signs, t-shirts, hats. Knives. Well, they don't knives. throw out the knives. They, they give them out. Yeah. yeah. I think they might have thrown a knife once. They'll never do that again, though, after that. And they got caught through that. And they also yeah, said this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, is right. what, yeah, this is what everything came in. This tan here. Yep. Uh, Long Ashes was using it for uh, his pipe tobacco. It's got That's a right. tobacco in it. That's right. So let's get down to the review here. Why don't you uh, tell them what cigars they sent? Uh, uh, they sent they sent me a Gurkha Evil. Sent me a Ninja. They sent me the Seduction, which Nubs is going to be reviewing today. Yep. Sent me the Cellar Reserve, which uh, Ring Gauge is going to be reviewing today. The 15 year. Sent me. The Assassin and I believe that's it. The right stack here, the Assassin. Three here, the one that the yeah, the evil. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're gonna save the Assassin for uh, Punch. He couldn't make it, but I'm reviewing the Ninja today. This is one of my favorites. Ninja, please. Ninja, please. <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be racist? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're also drinking an interesting kind of beer for the review today, too. Something we picked up at the store looking for another beer that we couldn't find, but th- we definitely wouldn't say settle for this one because this one's an interesting one. It's called Night of the Living Stout. It's a 7.6% ABV, 110 IBU stout. That's right. Lots of hops mm-hmm. for the uh, stout. That's a little bit different. Yeah. We've already been drinking it. We poured it nice almost black tarish look to it. Really dark, real thick, oily look to the beer. Had a nice brown uh, frothy head to the top of it. Yeah, and look, you can you can see it. It's like on the top, how it's just kind of settling there. Yeah, yeah. like a film to it. Yeah. Right? yeah, the message on the bottle, they keep coming back in a thirsty lust for great taste. Yeah. I guess part of the reason we uh, Purchased this was uh, kind of keeping with the Halloween zombie theme. Also, uh, tonight obviously is the start of the uh, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead Walking season Dead. three, I believe, for season four. No, it's the season four. four. Yeah, four. Okay. Um, so, Full Pint Brewing Company out of Pittsburgh. Um, kind of odd that it's coming from a East Coast brewing company, but it's, it's a, a West Coast, Coast style stout. <laughs> Well, it's like Chicago deep dish pizza or something. <laughs> but yeah, all right. 
what, Bob, why don't you start us off here? Tell us about the, the seduction. Yeah, I'm going to be smoking the, uh, the Gurkha seduction. Um, it's one of my top fives. Probably always stay on my top five out of all the cigars I smoke. Um, There's some information up there about it. Uh, it's, a, it's a medium body cigar. Um, the uh, Ecuadorian. E Ecuadorian uh, filler. That's a wrapper. Or wrapper. Uh, Dominican Allure binder. Corojo Colombian filler. Ooh, Colombian filler. Mm. Mm. Interesting. That would be good. That is sure to pleasure your senses. Oh, yeah. 91 rated. Yep. I got the Ninja. Uh, you couldn't, I looked it up, you couldn't find the Cellar Reserve or the Seduction on CI site, and that's where I usually go for my information, but the Ninja is on there. Uh, we'll talk about prices uh, when we come back after we start smoking, and we won't talk about it right now, but uh, Brazilian wrapper, Dominican Republic origin which normally means filler, and it comes in several different sizes, of course. Churchill, Gordo, Perfecto, Robusto, Torpedoes. This is the Robusto that I'll be smoking today, and it's closer to the fuller end of the full body spectrum. The 15-year cell reserves, pretty much all Dominican, uh, Dominican filler. Uh, the wrapper is actually a 15-year aged Dominican wrapper. Damn. Um, yeah, which, the smell on the foot of it, you can just, it just smells awesome. Um, ever had one? Long as said they're awesome, I'll try one. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, it's more of a fuller body, uh, well not fuller body, but it's all along the stronger end. Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor to it. Right. Uh, they do have a limited edition version. Uh, I'd be curious to try that, but this is just a regular 15 year. Um, like I said, it's all Dominican pretty much, nice and dark. Uh, wrapper's oily, smell is just awesome. Yeah, I mean, the smell of mine is like a dark chocolate coffee yeah. type. Yeah. Mm. Man, that's a, says it's a 97 rated. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was like top 10, in the top 10 of cigars of the year last year. Yeah. Yep. Damn. All right. All right, let's light these up. Yeah, let's get to smoking. All right. Hey, what's up? We're back, and we're just smoking our... Gurkha cigars. Each of us have a different one that we're reviewing. Gurkha. And of course, a, a, a decent beer that we'll go into as well. But we promised we'd go into price. So let's hit that first and then we'll talk about the taste profile. I'll go first. The Gurkha Ninja. You can get that on Cigar International site or your local brick and mortar. It's about $4.70 a stick for the uh, knife. It's like a 5x55 Robusto. And that's a box of 20. So. Uh, like $93, $94 box. Not bad. I, I think that's worth it for the Ninja. I was actually surprised when I saw the price because I believe it started out a lot more expensive than that. So mm -hmm. it's been out for a little bit now. The uh, Cell Reserve, um, we couldn't find it anywhere. So we think it is a pure brick and mortar cigar. Um, we had to really look hard just to find the price. But uh, ranges from they were from nine to ten dollars. I think ten is retail. You buy a box on, or fifteen on the, the well, Kraken. So yeah, the Kraken. The six by sixty is like fifteen, but I think I'm smoking the double robusto. Yeah. yeah. And it was around ten dollars individual, and uh, if you buy a box, it comes out about nine bucks. Yeah. Uh, that was on SmokingCaveOutlet.com. Yeah, and I mean it really is a good cigar, but you know, ten dollars, eh, I don't know. Not worth it. I think it is. Just I don't know if I buy a whole box of it. Yeah, that's one of the, well, I mean, 15 year age, cellar reserve, the label and everything, the type of cigar it is, it seems to me, it's one of those cigars you smoke for like a special case. Exactly, yep. Mm -hmm. The, um, the seduction, you gotta look, you look, gotta look long and hard for the seduction. Um, that's what she said. You gotta, you can only buy these in a single stick, you can't buy them in a box. Um, the prices range in between eight dollars and ten dollars um, uh, also had to go to the the uh, cigar cave to, to find these they're in Atlanta um, it's, it's just weird that you know seduction is such a good cigar but it's just hard to come across 
I know when we went to Cigar Fest, I found them up at the uh, CI store, but they weren't selling them in boxes. They were just individuals. Yeah. Um, and I think they were they were close to ten bucks a stick. Yeah. I bought like five of them. But uh, I think you know, along your term, both of these are just I think brick and mortar sticks. Yeah. You know they're so expensive. Yeah. And that's even that's even more rare that they don't sell those in boxes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just single. Yeah. And I, I smoke both of them now, and I have to say they're both great, but I still. Seduction's still my favorite. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. seduction is to me. I think cellar reserves up there. Oh, it definitely. It's not a bad stick, man. But if I had, yeah. to, if I had to choose, for some reason the seduction didn't hit me as much as it did you guys. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I liked it, but it wasn't like it didn't blow me away. Well, cellar reserve the different tastes. Yeah. Everybody yeah, really had different palates. Yeah. yeah. The cellar reserve for me just hit home. That was a really good stick. Great. Oh, and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, it's got a combination of. This is a little more spicy, a little more peppery than the seduction, and but it doesn't hit hard. I mean, you get the sweet and then the spice right afterwards, so it's a good combination. Where that's just all sweetness and chocolate, and it's just. Is that you're getting on it? Yeah, I mean, so far from from the beginning, and I'm about halfway down into it. It's it's all sweet, nice good cedar taste, and it's just so good. And so far, no construction issues. Oh okay. yeah. Uh, my burn started to mess up a little bit on the Ninja, but I mean that could just be how I'm puffing on it too. But uh, I mean I've had some burn and construction issues in the past. I won't lie with, with Gurkha cigars. Uh, it's been hit or miss on some quality stuff. A lot of times for me the problem ends up being like if I have a crack or they're kind of like a hard draw. But this is like effortless draw, lots of smoke, real smooth. The flavor profile I'm getting on the Ninja here is. Uh, real dark earth with a little bit of pepper and like a really dark black coffee taste so really dark cigar I mean this is like have this one at the end of the night type of thing don't you know don't start your morning with this is one that all, is that all like all the like, meat the full body uh yeah this one is is pretty full body so they're all these are all three about the same I think so right? yeah. Yeah. yeah I think seduction might be a little bit lighter than the cell right. reserve in this one but yeah they're all pretty close profile wise mm-hmm. Real nice uh, dark wrapper too, the Maduro wrap. It's a Brazilian, which kind of blows me really? away because usually the Brazilian so wraps are, are more of a sweeter taste. Yeah, they're lighter too. Yeah, a little bit lighter. Like the Sierra Brazilian, that's a darker one oh, too. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, but this is like a Maduro Brazilian. But yeah, usually on Brazilian tobacco, I get more of a sweetness, but mm-hmm. this is like all dark earthiness to it. Really dark. Plus, I think Gurkha's, you know, with these more expensive sticks are trying to get more of the medium to full body. Generally in the past they've been more light to medium. More for that, you know, middle class market. They wouldn't really go high end. I think with these they're trying to get into that market. Oh yeah. Complexity. And I say they hit a home run with these. They're they're really good. Yeah. Now the the beer that we're drinking, the Night of Living Stout, good beer. I don't know if it's a good pairing with like any cigar really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because <laughs> it it's it starts out with that dark malted roast roasted flavor that you would expect in a stout and then instantly after that goes away it hits you with this bitterness and it's 110 IBU so that's where you're getting that bitterness from but it stays on your palate I actually broke out a, a Coke Zero to uh, swish around in my mouth a little bit just to get a true taste of the cigar for the review just so that you know I, I had that full taste of the cigar but it, it's a great beer. I'm just not sure if I would, you know, drink I, it with. I don't think I've heard this with anything. Make sure you eat before you drink this. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it is. And it's I just think beer. it's something to be enjoyed, like after a meal. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can sit here and drink three or four of them. No. But you know, it's uh, definitely like a good evening beer. I'd say one or two max. <laughs> yeah. Did Did you read this thing on the back? What's it say? Yeah. It says, uh, "From the depths of old pint uh, fermenters." comes a spine tingling stout that will have beer nerds returning from their graves. <laughs> we single hopped this brew with cascade from citrus characters perfectly balanced with roasted malts for unrevealing great taste. Yeah. West so Coast style. Yeah, here's all the they list all the different malts and hops they had in it. Yeah, they have to have the beer nerds Beer nerd there. stats. Which they're saying it's got a citrus character. Are you getting any of that? 
At the very end with the hops, yeah. Really? Yeah. So I didn't get any of that. Huh. Although I'm not used to IPA, so. Yeah, that bitterness <laughs> is where it hits with that citrus a little yeah. bit. But. Which probably, I guess, kind of, you know, subdues the, the, the bitterness a little bit. Makes it palatable, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Great beer, just not a good choice with a cigar. Yeah. In my opinion, we kind of ran across this trying to look for something, and it's like, oh, yeah. give it a shot, ain't bad. Hey, Walking Dead starts tonight. Yes. Yep. Seemed like the right thing to drink. Absolutely. But we're going to keep smoking this and keep drinking our Night of the Living beer here, and we'll be back. Hey, what's up? We're just finishing out here our Gurkha episode, episode number five. Uh, I was smoking the Gurkha Ninja, and we moved on to a different beer, too. We'll, we'll, we'll go into that here in a second. but. Gurkha Ninja overall, great stick. Four dollars and seventy cents a stick for the Robusto. I actually like that price. That's a good price for this one. It used to be like in the ten dollar range. I remember when it first came out, it was pretty expensive. But hey, four dollars for this one, you can't go wrong. And I'm gonna check cigar bid, see if they have any uh, deals on this one. I might be picking a box up of this one if I really? can, if I can get a pretty good deal on it. Yeah. Damn. Uh, dark coffee earth spice everything nice great great stick real smooth uh lots of smoke and perfect draw i can't really say that about a lot of gurkhas i've had an off experience with some of their cigars but this one and all the other ninjas i've had in the past has, has never done me wrong so at least in their ninja line that great quality great stick props to gurkha Cellar Reserve, great stick. If you can find it, definitely pick it up. A um, little pricey for a box, but I mean, pick up four or five. They're definitely a uh, special occasion smoke, considering they're ten dollars a stick. Um, not something you want to smoke every day, obviously, but uh, just the right mix of sweetness and spice and pepper. Um, it's been consistent the whole cigar. No changes. I will have to say it's a really slow burn, which is really good. You get a lot of smoke, and you know, Bob was on, he's on with the nub of his, and yeah. his was bigger than my stick, and it's just it's just a nice, slow, easy yeah. burn. Um, and as Bob is an expert at sucking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll trust your word on that. Um, he is, but <laughs> I've seen him. <laughs> wow, okay, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely pick it up if you can. Uh, like I said, kind of pricey, but definitely worth a special occasion smoke. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. That's more like a celebratory yeah, cigar. Right. I wouldn't be buying that for everyone if you have a baby, though. Yeah, kind, kind of pricey. Be a little pricey, yeah. A little pricey. Especially if you got a lot of friends. Maybe buy one for yourself. Hell yeah. Give, give them the ninjas and take the, the ninjas yeah, yeah. for yourself. Give them some ninjas and smoke the cellar. <laughs> Bob? Yeah, I'm about to uh, finish up the seduction. Sad, sad but true. Don't want to finish this thing. Did it seduce you? Oh, actually, yes it did. Um, you know, price-wise, it's in between like $8, $10 uh, per stick. Um, give it search high and low for it um yeah good good draw no construction issues nice slow burn um it's it's a great cigar um i would definitely go pick them up uh i'm also drinking the uh lyo bocker lyo uh, pumpkin stout pumpkin ale or pumpkin ale it's it's kind of like like a like a wine beer. It's like it tastes like candy. Real sweet. Real sweet. Almost too sweet. Yeah. I mean, it the, the smell smells really good, but once you once you get that drink, it's like it's like wow, you 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 don't expect it. Yeah, the smell really was awesome. Opening the bottle was like oh my god, this is gonna be a great beer, and you pour it. There's not as much carbonation as we liked. Um, taste like you said was some, like, almost like candy caramel it's like they put too much pumpkin in it yeah i think somebody kind of hit the nail on the head we were looking at the reviews and they said it was kind of like a 
like a dental mouthwash experience. <laughs> It, 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 it really is. It's like that like mouthwash stuff that you drink, and it's like just super sweet and super dry, like sucks up yeah. all the saliva in your mouth and just yeah. leaves you with a dry mouth. Yeah. I think that's like kind of what this does a little bit. Well, I mean, if you're looking for a pumpkin beer that really tastes like pumpkin, this is it. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's very little bite at all, very little carbonation. It almost has a flat taste towards the end. But that may be because uh, tons of spice and stuff in it, though. Yeah, just overpower. I mean, and that's what we were talking about. I think that's what they might have been going for because it's an imperial pumpkin ale. Yeah. So uh, the imperial was on the side of the pumpkin, not necessarily the ale side. Mm -hmm. When I look at a pumpkin ale, what I look for is something that's a, a at its base is a really good ale or stout or whatever it is that their base is, and then it has that subtle nuance of the pumpkin, but enough to where you really taste it and you get that a little bit of pumpkin in the back of your throat and in your palate you know and i think the pumpkin from southern tier does a good job at that oh yeah river town is a local brewery in cincinnati we have they do an excellent job at that but this one is just so overpowering with the pumpkin and the sweetness that it's a sipper yeah now you did say you had the wire bocker before yeah i've had wire bocker before I, I can't remember what it was that i had at first but it was it was a decent brew I mean, they're, they're a good brewery, and I think that's just what they were going for with this yeah. beer, you know? I think they're out of Pittsburgh as well. Not, yeah, Pennsylvania. So. It's just like anything else. If, if their goal is a specific thing, that's what they intended to do. Right. Then, obviously, that's what it's going to be. And taste if like. you look at it, it almost looks like a wine. I mean, there's no carbonation in it at all. Yeah, it has no kind of a wine taste to it. It's kind of clear. Champagne wine. It's, it definitely is a pumpkin color, but overkill yeah it's like yeah. I mean you sit there can't see a holy grail but I guess no. I guess I could rate it as a uh, in between like a drinkable and a decent rating yeah definitely I don't think something you want to have more than one of because the flavor is just too overwhelming yeah yeah. I don't know yeah. if I'd ever go on and like you said probably it's, perfect. it's like more like a sipping more like a yeah, cognac yeah. oh yeah you know it's mm -hmm. like something you don't want and to sip no, definitely there. sipping his <laughs> I think he needs a nipple for his <laughs> What? He's been concentrating on the cigar. I think so. I think he's been smoking more than drinking. Yeah. It's like some people who like drink more than they eat or something. They, yeah. They give you like three drinks before they're done with their meal. <laughs> but that's it. Gurkha episode number five. Again, thank you, Gurkha, for all the, the sweet swag. Got the uh, cutters, the nice business card and note that you sent us, and the the, the ad here the, for pouch. all the different cigars. This pouch the, to kick ass. Yeah, the like leather that. pouch. Yeah. The tin. Tin, yeah. The tin, and we got my pipe tobacco in it. Really cool. I think we do have to say overall, as far as swag goes, Gurkha probably has the best swag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They do a really good job. Yeah. Of and it is, it's not to compensate for their cigars. Obviously, there's, they, they have great cigars. It's just they yeah. do a really good job of, the, you know, Getting out to the public and, and making sure they uh, they're recognized and yeah and as you can see behind us all of oh, our yeah. character stuff oh, oh yeah. yeah those are that's all the swag that I uh, obtained over Cigar Fest years over the last four years or so that I've been going to Cigar Fest worked hard for getting that stuff oh yeah you got to push people out of the way jump up and down scream yep. We love Gurkha. You gotta, you gotta blow some people sometimes to get a sign. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 yeah. Oh wait, no, we yeah, won't go yeah, that far. Yeah. Maybe, uh, well, maybe, maybe that's you. Maybe that was just me. <laughs> oh, shit. You can edit that out, right? Yeah. At, at, at that, we'll leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, Great sticks. Okay. Thanks again, Gurkha. This is Long Ashes, Nubs, and Ring Gauge. Till next time, stay smoky.